All right, what is recession proof is using uh, toothpaste to brush your teeth. Colgate Palmolive reports yeah, an earnings beat for the fourth quarter, topping revenue expectations. As net sales increased 5% year over year, the company also issued some guidance as it expects net sales for the fiscal year to grow between 2 and 5%. I, you oh, still use toothpaste? That's so passe. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to brush my teeth with, <laughs> teeth with water, Julie. Okay, I, maybe I trade down in toothpaste in these tough times. But nonetheless, uh, a good quarter from Colgate Palmolive. Another consumer products company that has had some success pushing through higher price increases, given the inflation it has seen in recent quarters. You, yeah. you, you know what? I I, ju I just Googled this. I have switched over to Hello Toothpaste, yes. which happens to be owned, it looks like, by Colgate Palmolive. I use Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sasha. Goodbye. Please, Brad, Goodbye. carry on. Bye-bye. Goodbye. -bye. Goodbye -bye. <laughs> uh, gross margins, though, we're, we're down during this quarter. <laughs> Decreased by about 110 basis points to 36% from 37.1% last year. And then, additionally, uh, that net sales decrease certainly um, something to keep a close eye on here as we move forward. Uh, but net sales were down by about 4%. That's compared to a 6% net sales decrease in the year ago quarter. So uh, perhaps some of the waning on that net sales decrease as well. Uh, but it was driven by lower volume, offset by a favorable price mix the company said. You know, I wish the uh, Colgate reporter, Brad, the uh, brush replenishment rate. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't publish that. Well, You're it's supposed also... to replace how, how often? Well, it depends. You got the electronic one. Uh, yeah, right? it beeps like, okay. every month, every two months or something. That's good. I just they, got they it. really I, get you. Those are like $20, $30 a pop, those new packages. I got to look at the, the box on mine. I just got a new one for Christmas. I've been getting teeth products for the past two Christmases. I need to ask my family. <laughs> <laughs> are they trying to tell you something, Brad? Yeah, they are. Yeah. I don't know. That's but what's, what also struck me in Colgate Palmolive is it becomes the latest company to say costs are still going up, which mm -hmm. is interesting to me, given, uh, you know, costs are going up when you look at the overall rate of inflation as well. It's going up at a lower rate, but it's still going up. But you do still have a lot of companies calling this stuff out that Colgate's going to see raw and packaging material costs to go up in 2023 by several hundred million dollars, mostly in the first half of the year because of higher agricultural prices. So it's interesting that companies, in other words, we're not done with inflation, right? Mm -hmm. Companies are still, and we're still, experiencing rising prices. I just giggle at some of that marketing. I just Consumer products marketing always just fascinates me on that advanced shield mouthwash. Like, wow, okay, I guess I'll pay an extra two bucks for that. It sounds like it'll protect my teeth, my arms, and my feet. But uh, just really interesting stuff. I went to the dentist yesterday. Clean, but clean bill of health. Like a few. Just thought I'd... for you. Throw that in there. I got, some, gonna, I got some gum for you. There we go. <laughs> We're going to ride high off of uh, Julie's report <laughs> while I text my family and figure out why they keep sending me stuff.